weird thing at the moment, it's actually, politics is quite exciting at the moment. And I know you all think, oh yeah, maybe Abbott's going to win, oh god, it's not that exciting. But the reason why I think I got the 10,000 votes in Geelong during the mayoral elections is I think a lot of working class people are pissed off. Like, pissed off with everything. And you know, it varies from person to person and meeting to meeting that you go to. And of course, I know I'm sort of speaking from a Geelong perspective. About the lack of jobs. They're pissed off about the refugee issue. They're pissed off about the lack of services. Um, remember in the 90s when everything was being privatised? Well, now we're living in this society where to go to hospital, you've probably got to have private cover. You know, if you can't afford to send your kids to the private school down the road, then you're getting a second best education at the other school, which is the public high school, the public primary school. And everything's sort of coming home to roost. And if you're a working class person, you think, it's not good. But then you look outside and meanwhile, the climate is changing. So there's all these people going, what's being done for me? Absolutely nothing. And I've got to tell you, we're out in Lara today. And I don't know if you know where Lara is, but it's down on the very edge of Geelong. And when you drive through Lara, you sort of see quite big houses and you think, oh, probably a sort of a middle class suburb, but it's not. It's a very working class suburb with people hot to the eyeballs trying to survive. And we weren't sure what sort of reception we were going to receive. Almost every second person said, I'm so terrified that Abbott might get in. And they were coming from all different backgrounds. Some were sort of real blue collar workers. One woman had EMS. Um, they were from all over the place. In fact, one younger woman, I said, would you like a leaflet? And she said, um, yes. And I said, I'm, I'm going to run as the candidate for Socialist Alliance. And she goes, right, what are you going to promise me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, not much. <laughs> I said, well, what we're running on is we want to take back the wealth, i.e. we want the mines, the banks, the energy companies, all those big businesses that pay bugger all, we want them to pay tax. And we want that money, big tax, we want that money to go back into the public se sector, into services. And she said, oh, yeah, that's good. Look at this place, there's nothing here. And of course, Lara is your classic out of suburb. There is nothing there. There's a Coles, or well, actually, I think it's a Safeway. There's a Safeway, a couple of few little shops, and that's it. There's nothing else. I think there's a library down the road, and there's a high school somewhere further down. Nothing else. And she said, there's nothing here. No one cares. My daughter has to stand in the rain because we don't even have bus shelters in this place. And it's so typical of outer suburban life. And so I sort of began to think that I'm really glad we're running. I mean, I don't think Maggie and I can win at the moment, but I think we can actually get out there and say to people, there are alternatives, but those alternatives have to be built by the likes of us. Um, Margie and I can be really good spokespeople. Um, Margie, you'll hear in a few minutes, and, you'll, and many of you know are already a fantastic speaker. And, and we can put the case, we, we can put the case, but we know really it's not about Margie and me, it's about people like yourselves. It's about whether we, as a whole group of people, can make a difference. Can we get out there and say that working class people, refugees, single parents, you know, all sorts of people, they deserve better. Like, they deserve to have better schools, health, public transport, housing, all those things, they deserve better. And it's not just because we are who we are, but we pay massive taxes, and Gina Reinhardt doesn't even pay as much tax as I do. <laughs> and I'm a part-time worker. <laughs> Good God. So I think that that's what these sort of things are about. They're about us saying, that we deserve much better and we can make a difference. Socialist Alliance is out there because that's what we really think. It's, it, there's so much that we could do if more and more people started to argue the way we did. I mean, you don't have to join Socialist Alliance, we'd love you to, but you have to get out there and say, this is not right, this is unfair. I'm going to finish by saying that in Geelong last Saturday, 300 people 
Remember, Geelong's pretty much a, a white sort of working class town. There's a few brown faces, but there's not a lot of brown faces. 300 people came into town Saturday morning to protest what the Rudd government is doing in terms of the refugees. Minority, but we're not a tiny minority. Tomorrow we're going to have lunch, and the lunch is at Trades Hall, and we're going to welcome the Tamil refugees, the asylum seekers, of whom there's quite a lot at the moment in Geelong. We're going to welcome them with a lunch, and we've just heard that we're probably going to get 150 to 200 people. Now we're a little bit nervous because although our hall's a bit bigger than this, I'm not certain it's going to hold 150 people. But there's a big car park out the back, so we'll squeeze everybody in. But that sort of solidarity, where do you get that sort of solidarity? You get it through people like ourselves who recognise that no matter whether you're a refugee, a worker, a single mother, a, you know, a, a, someone who's been forced to live on the dole most of their lives, we've got more in common with each other than Gina Reinhardt and all of those people. They make us feel that we're nothing and they make us, and this is the big thing that's happening at the moment, fight amongst ourselves, because you go out there, and of course you've all seen it. How many people have you spoken to that say, you know, these bloody refugees, these four, five, seven visa holders, da, 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 they're taking our jobs, they're taking our housing, they're living on the dole, they, you know, they've got everything, and I've got nothing. And it's true, the people that you talk to often, they've got nothing. But who do they hate? The refugee. Yeah, the person over there with a the brown skin, they don't hate Gina Reinhardt, or maybe they do, but they can't see it quite so clearly. And I think that's what we've got to do. I think we've got to get out there and say to people, this issue is being used to divide us. It's wrong. It's wrong. The issue isn't about 17,000 people coming in by boats or what the figure's up to now. The issue is about the fact that as ordinary and working class people, we've got no rights in this society and our enemy is not each other, it's the Gina Reinhardt's of the world that are ripping us off. They've got to pay their taxes, they've got to actually be forced to put money into services. So that's where I'm coming from, and I know that's where Margie's coming from, and I know that Margie will be a fantastic candidate in the seat of wills. Um, she's been around a long time, as many speakers have said, and I think she's going to put out a case so that people feel inspired and excited because I think all of you have got to help us get out there and make a difference. So thank you very much.